It was a seemingly ordinary day when the Perron family crossed the threshold of their new home, utterly oblivious to the chilling events that would soon plague their lives. A new chapter was unfolding for the Perrons as they moved into the old Arnold estate, a charming farmhouse nestled in the quiet town of Harrisville, Rhode Island. The initial joy and excitement of a fresh start in the 70s was almost palpable. Yet this gaiety was short-lived. As the days turned into nights, the family found themselves in the grip of the inexplicable. Unseen footsteps echoed in the hallways, ghostly apparitions danced in the shadows and strange noises pierced the silence of the night. The fear escalated as they came to know of a sinister entity believed to be Bathsheba Sherman, a former resident of the house, whose presence still lingered in its corners. Little did they know they were not alone in that old farmhouse. As the Perron family settled into their new home, life seemed idyllic. The children frolicked in the fields around the farmhouse, their joy resonating in the peaceful landscape. But as dusk fell, the house's quietness was pierced by eerie signs of the unknown. A chill wind swept the halls, doors mysteriously opened, and items appeared misplaced. Initially, these oddities were ignored as traits of the old house. But when the children reported sightings of an unknown woman in the house, the parents couldn't shrug off their uneasiness. The once cosy home now felt burdened by an invisible entity. Over time, these unsettling incidents intensified, turning their dream home into a house of fear. The chilling truth was undeniable, they were living in a haunted house. But what or who was causing this terror, and for what purpose? As we probe further, we will reveal the horrifying reality of the invisible entities haunting the old Arnold estate. If you're enjoying this tale, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more spine-tingling stories. Within the old walls of the farmhouse, a sinister presence lurked, waiting for the opportune moment to reveal itself. The Perron family, unsuspecting, moved into this dwelling, unaware of the unseen inhabitants that had claimed the farmhouse as their own, long before the family set foot on the property. As days turned into weeks, the family began to experience strange phenomena that they couldn't explain. Whispers echoed through the halls when no one was speaking. Cold spots appeared in rooms where the sun shone brightly, and objects moved of their own accord, defying the laws of physics. The family was bewildered, unable to comprehend the eerie happenings that were now a part of their daily lives. The nocturnal hours were even more terrifying. The family reported ghostly apparitions, fleeting shadows lurking in the corners of their eyes, vanishing as soon as they tried to focus on them. They heard inexplicable noises like footsteps in empty rooms above them or the chilling sound of a woman's laughter echoing through the house in the dead of night. But the most disturbing encounters were with an entity they believed to be Bathsheba Sherman, a woman linked with sinister local legends. The spectre of Bathsheba was said to be malevolent, attacking the family members in their sleep, leaving them with unexplainable scratches and bruises. The entity seemed to have a particular interest in the children, instilling an intense fear that they carried with them long into their adulthood. These terrifying experiences were not mere ghost stories told around a campfire, but a horrifying reality for the Perron family. They lived in constant fear, never knowing when the next chilling encounter would occur or how threatening it would be. They were trapped in their own home, a place that should have been a sanctuary, but had instead become a house of horrors. The Perron family was living in a house of horrors, trapped in a never-ending nightmare. As we delve further into their story, we'll explore the desperate measures they took to try and reclaim their home from the unseen inhabitants. In their desperation, the Perrons reached out to the only people who might be able to help, Ed and Lorraine Warren. These two were not your average ghost hunters. The Warrens had made a name for themselves as preeminent paranormal investigators with a reputation for handling cases of the most sinister nature. Upon their arrival at the farmhouse, the Warrens were met with an atmosphere that was palpably chilling. They began their investigation, employing a range of methods from scientific to spiritual. They used infrared cameras to capture invisible entities and religious rituals to cleanse the house of its malevolent presence. The Warrens believed that the entity tormenting the Perrin family was none other than Bathsheba Sherman, a woman rumoured to have been a witch in the 19th century. But as the Warrens delved deeper into the haunting, 
they found that their intervention was not without consequences. The Warrens' intervention, however, would only serve to stir the pot. In the wake of the haunting, the Perron family was forever changed. There's a profound weight that comes with experiencing the inexplicable, a certain heaviness that lingers long after the immediate terror has subsided. For the Perrons, this was a reality they had to grapple with every single day. The trauma of their ordeal was a specter that followed them, even when they escaped the physical confines of the farmhouse. Sleep became a battleground, every creak of the house a potential threat. Fear had become their constant companion as omnipresent as the air they breathed. The family was trapped in their own haunted narrative, a chilling tale that was as much a part of them as their very DNA. Their struggle was a complex dance with the past, a relentless tug of war between the desire to forget and the need to remember. The Perrons were ordinary people thrust into an extraordinary situation, their lives irrevocably altered by forces beyond their comprehension. Their story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a poignant reminder of our innate capacity to endure even in the face of overwhelming adversity. And their haunting ordeal didn't just affect them, it rippled outwards, influencing one of the most successful horror franchises in recent history, The Conjuring. The Perron's experiences served as the bedrock for the films, their harrowing encounters with the supernatural, providing the inspiration for some of the series' most spine-chilling scenes. The Conjuring didn't just recreate the Perron's haunting, it brought it to a global stage, inviting audiences worldwide to peer into the shadows of the farmhouse. In doing so, the films not only immortalised the Perron's experiences, but also sparked a renewed interest in the paranormal. They reminded us of the tantalising mystery of the unknown, of the secrets that lurk in the corners of our world, just beyond our understanding. The Perron family's haunting is a chilling reminder that sometimes the past refuses to stay buried. It's a haunting echo from the depths of history, a spectral whisper that continues to resonate long after the last scene has faded to black. While the Perron family eventually left the haunted farmhouse, the echoes of their experiences continue to resonate. The house in Harrisville, Rhode Island stands to this day a silent witness to the chilling events of the 1970s. New owners have come and gone, each telling tales of unexplained noises, ethereal apparitions and an unsettling presence. The Phantom of Bathsheba Sherman, it seems, refuses to relinquish her hold on the property. Curious visitors and paranormal enthusiasts continue to be drawn to this eerie homestead, hoping to catch a glimpse of the otherworldly. Yet despite numerous reported encounters, the enigma of the Perron family haunting remains largely unsolved, a dark mystery wrapped in the fabric of time. It is this enduring mystery, the unanswered questions, and the chilling narrative that have ensured the Perron family's haunting tale a place in the annals of paranormal history. The tale of the Perron family haunting remains one of the most chilling in paranormal history, a story that continues to captivate and terrify us to this day. As we bid goodbye to the chilling tale of the Perron family and their haunted homestead, we are left with the eerie reminder that some things in this world are beyond the realm of our understanding. The house in Harrisville, Rhode Island continues to stand, an unyielding testament to the supernatural. The phantom of Bathsheba Sherman, the unseen inhabitants, the desperate cries for help and the chilling aftermath all comprise a tale that will forever be etched in the annals of paranormal history. Regardless of whether you are a staunch skeptic or a firm believer, one thing is certain. The tale of the Perron family haunting will continue to captivate, intrigue and terrify us for generations to come. If you enjoyed this spine-tingling journey into the supernatural, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more chilling tales and unsolved mysteries. Until next time, Stay curious, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay safe.